Tonight, Bike Bakersfield put on one of their social full moon bike rides. 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks was at Beach Park and has more on what they're doing to stay safe. Stephen. Hey, Gracie, it's a slow paced ride, averaging about 10 or 12 miles per hour. But tonight, it was cyclists who came from across the county who focused on how to stay safe, especially when riding at night. The reasons why cyclists ride is hard to pinpoint. I like the exercise and I just like the freedom. But when it comes to staying safe, the answers are pretty similar. People need to know about the three foot law. Definitely wear a helmet. To stay safe, riders focus on staying seen. That means lights in front and back. Even in the daytime, I put a uh, blinky light on so it can be seen from behind. In 2013, according to the Insurance Institute of Public Safety, there were more than 700 bicycle related fatalities. And California leads the nation. 63% of the time, those killed were reportedly not wearing a helmet when they crashed. This morning, Bike Bakersfield and Children First teamed up to educate the next generation of riders with what they call a critical mass event. We're a neighborhood school, which means that our students don't ride bus transportation. At schools like Williams Elementary, that safety is extremely important. Being that all of our students find their own transportation to school and go home, uh, we want to make sure they're doing it in the, in the manner most safe to them. While helmets are required age 18 and under, at today's full moon bike ride, it was adults choosing to still wear them. I was stupid for about six months to a year, and I didn't ride one. I bought my first one about six months before I got hit. But even with the protection, these riders know they still need to be aware on the streets. They're hoping cars can do the same. Even with a helmet, bad things can happen, but it would be a whole lot worse without the helmet. And if you missed tonight's ride and want to catch the next full moon ride, it's scheduled for September the 26th, another Saturday starting at 8 p.m. But they do warn you that the schedule is subject to change. In studio, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC.